if you eat in bed, you will get two belly buttons. That's a myth or superstition which traumatized me from childhood. One of my earliest memories of my paternal grandmother, Buyawe, is her recuperating from surgery from a condition which, according to her, resulted from eating while laying in bed. 2. Belly buttons. When I was older, I learned that Buyawe underwent a corrective procedure on a hernia. One can see how an abdominal hernia can be explained to young and impressionable minds as being a belly button. A second one, to be precise. It didn't help that the doctors simplified the hernia as being a second belly button. The parents decided that the official story to tell the grandkids, meaning us, was that Mbuyawe had to undergo surgery to remove a second belly button which had resulted from eating while laying in bed. If you eat in bed, you'll get two belly buttons. That traumatized me. Even at my big age, I try not to eat in bed if I can help it. Growing up, there were several other superstitions or sayings that we were told mostly as a guide and to keep us safe from harm. For example, not to sit in the road or else you will get boils on your backside, which was actually about not playing in traffic. If you eat in bed, you will get two belly buttons. This was supposed to prevent the choking hazard that came from eating while laying in bed, not to mention the mess or the cockroaches, ants and other creatures that might end up in the bedroom following the crumbs likely to be spilled from eating in bed. I want to think if they'd simply told us this as kids would have listened. But looking back, nope. Something dramatic as a second belly button is the only thing that could stop one from eating in bed, no ifs or buts. I'm old enough to know better and I still don't do that. Any superstitions and myths that were drilled into you as a child.